single a synthetic a synthetic wig what I do you know this this is about a month old and you know after it gets a month old what happens is it starts tangling by your neck area but there's this nice product it's oil free if I can hold it it's oil free it's oil free shine right it's oil free shine and I just spray it and it gives you an, an, I mean, a nice sheen and you can also lift it up because you know this is our area right here you lift it up spray it and get a wide tube paddle brush wig brush and just detangle it and it will make the hair slide away from each other You know, some people ask me if I thought I had a, a lace or a full wig, a wig, but actually what happened is I had dreadlocks and I let the, you know, it took me three days, but I took the dreadlocks out of my hair. So now my hair is basically uh, natural. And what I did is, this is a free tress. You can see here, what I did is use a Q-tip. I used a Q-tip and um, skin foundation, and I rubbed it in. Used a, you know, a damp toothbrush and cleaned off the hair. Or you can take a, a damp towel and wipe it to clean off the foundation. You know, I see some people use powders, but I use the, the liquid foundations. And once once that dries, I I put another coat on it. And it lasts until I'm done with this thing. And, you you know, which you're really not done because there's so much more you can do with this hair. You know, it looks it looks like relaxed hair, you know. And it's, a, it's amazing when I'm working. People ask me after they see me with dreadlocks, um, oh, you, you know, your hair is so beautiful. You know, I don't know how you got it so straight. I'm like, come on, you have to know this is a a wig <laughs> you know but I like it because it's free flowing and it detangles nicely with the aid of this oil free product okay so I, I like it I you know I'm I'm a licensed cosmetologist I've been doing hair for years so I tell everybody when you have your own wig have it cut just for you you know don't be blunt you know I go in and you know, um, razor cut, you know, around my face. And I have, you know, hairs that frame my face. You know, because you want it, you want it to be about how realistic it can look. You, if if it's not realistic, how could you be confident, really? How could you be confident? And I don't use a, you know, the glues. I will do the full head lace wig, but you know, normally if I put that on, I'm I'm doing it without the uh, glue you know I don't have anything uh, you know I don't have a problem with using it except that I like to sleep with my own hair out you know I tie it up I'm growing out my natural hair I'll show you what that looks like but um, for now you know I use this this is free tress this is Geneva this is Geneva wig free tress and it has a um, natural part. Well, the part is doesn't look natural until you pimp it and make it look the way you want it want to look. Get a Q-tip, get your liquid foundation, and rub it in. You know, rub it in, split the hair, rub it in, and get it all done. Then get your damp um, cloth, not real damp, squeeze it and clean the hair. And then once it dries, you spray this and then rub it again. That oil-free product will help get any foundation off the hair. And now, my um, 2012, you know, I'm about to be the big 5-0. A lot of people don't believe it, but that's another reason I wear a wig is to cover my gray hairs. I'm sensitive to everything. I'm sensitive to the colors, but I'm not ready for gray hair yet. I have it, but I'm not ready for it, and I don't want to mess with the dyes. So, I take very good care of my hair underneath and I wear a wig.
you know, I wear a wig. Once in a while, I may uh, bevel out my hair, you know, but I normally wrap it or braid it up and put the wig back on. I'll show a video of um, my own hair out. I use hair vitamins to grow. I've, I've worn sewn weaves for years, and um, what I noticed with the sewn, sewn in, you end up neglecting your hair more, and I was getting thinning in the front, you know, on the top and on the on the side, the hairlines were really thinning. But now I have my, I have, you know, full hairline back, you know, no thinness in the front. You know, I have a formulated root stimulant that I use. And um, at that time when I didn't have the growth that I needed from neglect from my weave, what I began doing is taking the hair vitamins. You know, when I um, had, I had a, um, it's a full service salon and I sold the vitamin and root stimulant and I will begin to sell it again and I'll let you know when that happens but if you if you're having problems with um, thinning hair you know because of the weave and you're not uh, giving it the nourishment you need you know the hair vitamins or you know hair supplements can help boost that hair growth make it much stronger and the stronger our hair is while it's grown and more nutrients it has as it's grown, it'll have a longer life. And I mean, you know, before it starts splitting at the bottom, you know, it will grow longer before that happens. You know, don't forget the older our hair is, the longer it is, the older the bottom is. So you have to care for your hair and give it nutrient as it grows out to enable it to grow longer without breaking. It has to have its moisturizer. It has to have the nutrients. Your body has to have to have nutrients to produce healthier hair. For you know, to, to give it a good foundation to grow longer. Okay. So um, this is it. Thanks for looking. I hope I, I've given you some help. Have a good day.